Hi, everybody. How are we doing? My goodness. It's been such a long time. It's been almost a week. So let me know how everyone's doing and if any any updates on any of the stories y'all are telling me. Some of you are in school. Some of you were in tests. Some of you have been working like crazy. I've been working like crazy, but the four day weekend is almost here. So I'm looking excited. Yaletu says, I can't believe I'm first. You are first. Welcome. You made it. You're usually here, so you don't have to be first. If you want to be first, like, I'm pretty punctual. So if you're, like, refreshing YouTube at about, like, 5.50 p.m. Eastern time, then you should be good to go. Him says, hi. Hi, how are you? Jennifer Mendoza says, hey, just found your YouTube chat. Just found your YouTube the other day. Love it. Well, thank you so much. Welcome to the live stream. I've been doing a lot of live streams this year and less videos. And honestly, it's been a lot more fun for me. Like, don't get me wrong. I enjoy making videos, but it's hard work. And when I have hard work all day and then I have to do hard work editing after, I just, I don't put forth my best. So at least with a live stream, I still have the energy to give you me. Hey, baby, come on up. Kyle's here. Come on up. Piggy up. Uh, he's going to be difficult as usual. Jonathan says, hello. Hi. J.E. Girl says, hi, everyone. Cats and Witchcraft is here. I'm not dead, so there is that. That Me too. I mean, by the skin of my teeth, I swear. Kyle is now jumping at the wall and screaming. Why? Come on. Say hi, everybody. Say hi to Kyle. Kyle's gonna say hi. Say something. He was saying stuff last week, remember? There we go, little kisses. Okay. You can just see right there. BJ Knight or Dave is here. Good to see you. Candy Queen, hi. Good to see you. Crossing your fingers, you don't have issues logging into EA the way I did. Okay, so I had login problems last week for anyone who was around for those streams, but I opened the game before I went live because I thought, like, if it doesn't open, then I'll have to do, like, a lot, like, switch the title to, like, Sims 1 or something. We'll have to play something else. I've been recovering from a sinus infection. Oh, that's no fun. Oh, no. Star Stuff says, well done, YouTube, got the notification. Yeah, like, I don't even tell people in videos to, to turn on notifications for two reasons. Number one, doesn't always work. Number two, I would never turn on notifications. I don't even have notifications on my phone. If it's not a phone call or a text message, I don't, like, no noises come. So, like, YouTube, I don't get it. Discord, I don't get it. I just check those things kind of intermittently throughout the day. Just getting ready for my early morning class. Oh no. Which class is it though? If it's a good one, it's not it's not too bad. Tatum says I'm 23. I'm also watching you in office hours. Don't tell. I'm not going to tell anybody. I was listening to courtroom um footage all all day at work. On the weekend, okay, has anyone caught up with the eight passengers evidence? Those people, I'm glad they're in prison. Let's just put it that way. I hope there's eight people on the bus on the way to prison. So my study has lagged behind. That is not good either. I'm sure you'll catch up though. Let him run free. Kyle is, Kyle cannot go outside. He is not equipped for that. Call me an overprotective parent, but like he's just, I've babied him his whole life indoors. He just doesn't have the skill set. Blocky says, hello from Italy. How are you doing? Hope everything is okay. Everything is going great. I hope you're having a good late night stream. Next trick is to teach Kyle to meow into the mic. He meows a lot, just not when I want him to. Iggy. I was horrified about reading what they were doing. I made the mistake of looking at the body cam footage and stuff. Now, I made sure to watch body cam footage that blurred out the injuries on the children because, like, I didn't want to see that, but I did want to see the look on their face when the police showed up. I did want to see them in the interrogation room and stuff. So that's the stuff that I, that, that I was paying attention to. I have it, it doesn't surprise me. Him says chemistry class, oh no. Well, if you need help balancing an equation, I'm kind of good at those, but that's about it. 
I took chemistry in university and stuff too, but like, I don't remember any of it. I just meant the room, let him zoomies. The wall is merely but another floor. Yeah, he treats it like that. But he's calmed right down now, as we can see. Fa says, hi from England. I hope you're having a great night. What psychopath writes about that stuff in a journal? Honestly, it's like, E was disobedient, withheld food and water, and like dated it, and like this was for like years. So like, I personally, if I'm committing a felony crime, then I'm not writing it down. Chem is so fun. Yeah, like so, some people love chemistry. Like it's like it's it's some people's favorite subject. Mine was always math and art. Here we start studying chemistry in middle school and I hated it. Yeah, like we start in like, we don't have middle school in Canada. Like we just have primary and secondary. Secondary just means high school. So like when I was about, I think 12 is when they start giving us chemistry classes or at least science classes that have chemistry in them. Okay, so let's see if the game is cooperating because we all know that pesky EA app. Okay, so at least it's opened. So, hi everybody. <laughs> I thought we could watch the loading screen together. Oh, let's get the lifetime points. Find the medieval shoulder armor. I'm just clicking all of them. Click all their shoulders. Find the buckhorn. What's that? Okay, I clicked it. Find the purple dragon. I can do that. For those of you who don't know, these do seem to lag up the loading process, but if you're having problems like loading certain save files or whatever, this screen actually helps because like when you click stuff, it seems to reset it. So like if you have like an error happening and you click something, it seems to like get back in gear. Okay. Oh no, I forgot we're on our third row. Okay. We should do a little, like I said this last episode and then we didn't really do it. We should do a family recap just to kind of get a gauge as to how far we've come. Things are going very well and very terribly all at the same time. Oh no, I forgot I had to add an extra bedroom. Sierra says, hey Rakowski, new sub here. I love your rebuild videos, using them for for some inspo on my own builds. I hate The Sims 4 as well. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Well, I hope you have a lovely building experience in The Sims 3, because you can pick whatever colors you want. I tend to try and get inspired by shapes that I enjoy. And then like you can just decorate it how however you want. So just focus on the shell and the whole thing will come together. What's the point of having children if you're gonna torture them? Honestly, like even I managed to feed these things. And I have like how many here? We have two adults and 16 children. She only had six. Some of the Sims 3 store worlds were on sale on the, on the EA app. I heard about that. There was a good Sims 3 sale. And every time there's a Sims 3 sale, then I usually see like a boost in views because all those old videos I have about how to fix the Sims 3 or how to play the Sims 3, like all my tutorial -y videos, those, those get a lot of new people who are just entering the world of the Sims 3. Because like when you first enter the Sims 3, you... You kind of have to be like, okay, I need to watch all the videos I liked about Sims 4, but about The Sims 3. <laughs> and there's only a few of us on, on here doing it. Has anyone else been checking out the updates on Stardew Valley? I have not, and I'm kind of trying to avoid spoilers. So if you've already typed one, it's okay. I might just ignore the comment, but like, I am, because I play on Switch, so I have to wait for the update to come. So I'm just kind of waiting patiently. Sims 3 over Sims 4 any day, honestly. I like the people whose favorite game is The Sims 4 have not played the other Sims games. That's that's just like the way I see it, which is fine. Like they don't have to like The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 
if you're not great with computers, you may not be having the best experience, right? Especially The Sims 1, actually. That thing is a nightmare to get working. Oh my god, y'all, I went crazy again and bought most of The Sims 3 expansions. The only ones I didn't get are Seasons, Pets, and the Vacation one. Honestly, you can skip Seasons and Pets until later. I don't think that that's... I don't think that it's super necessary. Yes, you like having weather in the game, but it does cause lag problems. Like, all my Sims 3 crashes involve snow. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about my computer, but if it's a blizzard in the Sims 3, that's when I'm gonna have problems. And the same thing with pets. The only times I get lags is when there's like a horse galloping to a houseboat or something. And I'm like, oh no, like, don't do that. Every time, I, every single time, I watch gameplay of The Sims 3. I can't believe it came out in 2009. That's how I feel about The Sims 2. Like it came out when I was in high school and I'm kind of old. So it's like this game has been on this earth almost as long as me. And it's still like, I think this like, The Sims 2 is in many ways the best Sims game. And in Sims 3, in other ways, it's the best Sims game. Amber Lynn is showering in in her beautiful flippers. Great. I've learned to disable all wild animals. I do that with uh, Enros. I think it's retune, Retuner or Register. I just do animal control. I put a couple cats, one dog, one unicorn, no horses, no raccoons or whatever. Like, no crap. No deer, sorry. Ironically, Seasons never gave me issues, but man, my game did not like fairies. I believe that. I could see that. Everyone's Sims 3 is different, I've noticed. Everyone's, like, Sims 3 has different problems and different weaknesses and different strengths. Like, some people with, like, mid-tier computers just randomly can install The Sims 3 and turn it on, and it works perfectly. Like, they don't have to do anything. It just works out. And some people have full-on gaming PCs. Watch Pick Me. Oh, she's going to watch Pick Me. Oh, right. We had triplets, didn't we? Oh, we have Cheese String, Woe Is Me, and Pick Me. Aww. Look at Pick Me. <coughs> Bless me. I own it all, but recently bored and switched games for a bit, though. I still play The Sims 2 on stream. Yeah, like, I can't play the same thing over and over again. Like, that's kind of the reason why I'm, like, if I'm doing two live streams a week, mostly playing The Sims 3, I don't want to make Sims 3 videos at the same time because it'll just burn me out. What did I do to make my game smooth? I have a video on that already from like a year ago. The thumbnail is red and it's got Bella Goth laying on a bed. Okay, let's just do a recap of the family and I'm gonna open the gifts because we had a pretty intense last episode. So I'm gonna take it easy. Maybe we'll do a pregnancy. Maybe we'll have to move out some Sims. Let's see. So Jasper's in the oldest and he's three days until aging up. So him, Harley, and Chantal will be aging up. My new gaming laptop does need the fixes and patch, but now it handles it so well. I do still miss my my old saves on that raggedy computer, but younger me would be delighted I can now have fairies. Yeah, like, you have to have, like, a decent computer. Like, you don't have to have, like, a high-spec gaming computer or anything. Like, once you have, like, a, like, a decent graphics card, a decent motherboard, and a decent CPU all bought in the last few years, like, then it's just a matter of patching The Sims 3 and fixing it. Okay, someone's already in the yellow. Morg is in the crib. Oh, he's just socially deprived that's fine she can play she can keep playing with pick me gotta love amberlyn zooming about in the house i love it okay chantal what are you doing go to bed i can't believe i remembered her bed go to bed okay bills what are you doing bills can go to bed too they're all they're all tired So 
Surprisingly, my Dell laptop is able to handle Isla Paradiso. Yeah, like I've done a few fixes for that. It still chugs once every 10 minutes or so, but it still runs really smooth in between. Like when I watched little Simsy turn it on last, and like her houseboat was just stuck in the water and like I've never had it that bad ever. So you can imagine that Simsy's gaming PC is probably better than mine. What I'm jealous of is her monitor. Okay. So let's see. So, cause I know I have some new people, so I do want to like kind of get this, get this going. So here is the family tree. This is our first generation uh, mother, our first, our, like, our first matriarch, Harley. And Harley is passed away, but we do have her, we do have her grade on the lot. As we can see her oldest daughter, Ariel, she's already an elder. So we're going to start having our siblings die. Now I'm not, do I have to take their graves? to my lot or something like how do I anyway I'll have to figure out how to move neighborhoods and bring the dead sims for the family tree I don't think anyone's a vampire or anything so we shouldn't have to worry about one of them staying alive are you gonna use any of the potions on Amber Lynn I've been using a couple I've been using the um the friendship ones on the men I've been using them the the needs ones the ones that are basically needs cheats like energy and stuff oh my goodness then we have Sloppy Jalopy, Pinto, Charmonda. Charmonda still has that ugly hair. Neglect. Oh, I forgot about Neglect. Cemetery. Okay, so Cemetery lives with us, so, you, so you'll recognize her from the house. Morbid, Wednesday, Thursday, Traumatized, Chad, Aquafina, and Amber Lynn, the last, the last female born. So she started the next generation. Hi, Kreyusa, how are you? Neglect was aptly named, honestly. Like, I forgot about Neglect no less than 10 times in this whole challenge. Once when he was a baby, once when he was a toddler, once when he was a child playing with the imaginary friend in front of the stairs. So Amber Lynn, Amber Lynn has had more children than Harley and she still has time. Like she still has time until she's an elder. So I may as well just keep having them. I don't, I don't really see any I don't really see any reason not to. So, so far, and all of these Sims still live in the house. We have Jasper, Harley Jr., and Chantal, who we dressed like foodie beauty. We have Misfortune, Bills, Tragedy, Sorrow, Rugrat, Fried Rice, Balder, and Foosball, Morgue, Leprosy. I forgot about Leprosy. Leprosy Challenge. Cheese string jalopy. Woe is me. Oh, yes. And then woe is me and pick me. Named after the Sims Twitter community. Okay. Let's just keep it moving, as CJ would say. And we're going to go and open the gifts. As soon as she leaves this swinging, this swinging basket. What's that called? Cemetery Jalopy is now an amateur with the nerd social group. All she does is take care of the kids, I thought, but she's playing She's playing a video game now. Okay, Jonathan, who's here, don't worry about sending a gift back. Okay, I won't. Thank you. Barbecue pit. I'll take that. Okay, I'll skip you then. Ooh, Chaos, thank you for the elixirs. I'm going to need some elixirs. If anyone knows how to make the jars of potent friendship or something... What is this one? Invigorating elixir. Perfect. That's exactly what I was just talking about. So I'll send you something back. You can have luxury care. I'll accept another one from you. Thank you for the skill booster. I was thinking for like the generations, the next generation, we're actually going to have like some money. So like basically when I feel like we're too rich, we might have a financial crash generation where we start over like rags to riches style. That might be fun because we're just breezing through this. Thank you for the zombification elixir. You can have comfort care.
Do you have Discord? My Discord is linked in the description below, I believe. If it's not, I'll link it in here. Elias. Ooh, the standing lamp. I like that one. I might use that. Great. Okay, I can send one more gift, and I'm going to send it to Aries Chick. Yay, another laptop. I just saw the other one on fire, so maybe she was trying to play The Sims 3 in 2009. There we go. Okay, perfect. The Nauseam Elixir. We got the podium and the whiteboard again. We got more bubble bath. We got a chess table. We got a computer. We're gonna have to go into the household inventory after this. The Me Too megaphone. We always get a Me Too megaphone. My brain cell can only think in Sims. Honestly, like this week, I feel like my last brain cell has died of loneliness. Invigorating elixir. We have to drink that soon. All of our Sims seemed very tired. Oh, I saw a message. Hey, Rec, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. I'll look at it back out when I, when I review the stream. Oh, we got the phone. I need another phone in the house. There's only like two. I think I forgot about phones by the time I got to the back half. Thank you for the easel and the whiteboard. Thank you for the 3,500 simoleons. Thank you so much. My goodness. And I didn't even have to do a breakdown live stream to get it. Love your videos. Thank you so much, Pony Pickles. In this house, it takes one of the megaphones to get any attention, honestly. Okay. So now we're gonna save. Hey, you guys. Hi, Raptor. Every Sims 3 player understands. <laughs> Actually, every Sims player, every Sims 1 player, Sims 2 player, Sims 3 player, or Sims 4 player, when you hit save, you just pray. Like, even if you are the most militant atheist, you say a prayer because it couldn't hurt, right? <laughs> okay. get back up to the main floor so cemetery is doing pretty well i'm gonna let her play this because she seems to be having fun and she's been working really hard lately amber lynn on the other hand what is she doing she's yelling at rugrat okay you need to repair things you need to feed babies these babies are just lonely they're not they're not hungry so i'm not too worried about it yet just repair this amber lynn has has the repair skills so let's just figure that out there used to be a bunch of broken stuff. Maybe we already did it. We're crossing our fingers with you. Thank you. I always do that for other people too. Oh, this sink is leaking. Okay, I don't know why you two are hanging out in the bathroom, but you're also exhausted, so go to bed. Okay, you're just sitting there when you could be in bed. Chantal's in bed. Tragedy could be in bed, but she's doing homework, so I'm gonna let her finish. Okay, you're in bed. You're in bed. You are not in bed. You can go in this room. Oh, it's Harley Jr.'s bed now. Rug I gave I assigned the beds again. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, sleep. Okay, you need to go to bed too. What are you doing? Okay. Now I'll take care of the babies. What is Amber Lynn doing? She's playing tag with... With which one is that? It's one of the red ones. I think it's fried rice. I'm gonna let this happen. She's playing tag with fried rice. Oh my god. What are the... Amber Lynn is playing tag with fried rice. Like... Anyone who watches Amber Lynn will find that funny. It's Soro's birthday. Did I forget? 
Maybe I missed some. I missed Rugrats' birthday too. Oh no. Well, they're going to age up now. I think I aged up like three of them and then forgot two because it was two sets of multiples birthdays. Okay, due to his indifferent study habits, Soro has developed the eccentric trait. Oh no. Yep, I shuck off my religious trauma and ask God for luck, honestly. Save my Sims 3 game and I'll go to church. Okay, Rugrat is having a birthday. Yes, okay, so Rugrat's gonna age up, then I'm gonna send her to bed too. Amberlynn is still outside, I believe. Is she cheering for the, or is she like playing tag still? Okay, fried rice is too tired for this now. Yeah, he's pretty tired, okay. Let's see. Due to her indifferent study habits, Rugrat has developed the irresistible trait. Irresistibly Dora, my goodness. That skirt with those leggings, with those shoes, she, I love all of these colors separately. I cannot believe with that many Sims, your game runs fine. This is like relatively new to me. Like I've never played with this many Sims in a household before. Like I've played with over eight, but not over 16. If that, cause the only way you'd end up with this many is with a challenge, right? Okay, Chantal woke up to do homework. Oh God, not, not, not you. Testing cheats enabled, true. There we go. This cat is here. Stray cat. You kind of look like Kyle. Let's see, let's look at you. Oh, you are very cute. Oh, that's cute. Okay, who's the most awake? Amberlynn. She still has that elixir running. She eating cake again? Oh, God. It's Kyle's brother, honestly. Let's go say hello. Amberlynn can have a cat. We can name it Twinkie. Do you play with all the packs? I am I am playing with all the packs installed right now, yes. How do you get The Sims 3 running smooth? You just look up Rakowski on YouTube and he has a video to explain how to get your game running like this. Okay. Amber Lynn. Okay, then fine, then repair this. I don't want the cat to leave, but it's asleep. She'll probably do it quickly. What is she doing? Okay, the cat is waking up, so I'm going to I'm going to leave that for a second. Go here. Where would it go? No, it disappeared. It left. I just went outside. Oh no. Okay, if it comes back, we'll we'll make friends with it. There's only a couple stray cats in this world. It's Amber Lynn, not Anne Boleyn, but Anne Boleyn might be a good name for the next, for the next baby. The Sims 3 is not as, like, The Sims 4 cult would have you believe that this game doesn't run, like it lags like crazy, and like, you have to kind of fix it up a little bit. But once you do that, it runs better than The Sims 4 does, I'll tell you that. The Sims 4 FPS at this point. Congratulations, Bills has just improved his, his athletic skill to four. He's been using the machine. Okay, whoa. Okay, it's you need to shower now and you need to go to bed now. Okay, who's not sleeping? Miss Fortune went to sleep. Did Tragedy go to bed? Yes, she did after she finished her homework. That's good. Chantal is not asleep. Go to sleep. Okay. 
Balder. What is Balder doing? Not going to bed, apparently. I'm gonna go to bed there. Amber Lynn's running again. She ran to the mirror. Oh no, she doesn't like her new face. She disappointed. Oh God. And poor Cemetery is trying to sleep right here in the closet. Me who is totally not staying up past 1 a.m. for this, <laughs> honestly. I know I get a lot of the Nate, the late night European crowd. My Sims 4 plays smoothly, but for some reason speed 3 feels like speed, speed 2. Sims 3 has a speed 4. So there's a speed 4 as well. You are South African? Oh, that's cool. We have a lot. Okay, so one of my mods is from South Africa. We've got a couple Discord members from South Africa. It's very popular. I have not been. And if I went, I would do the basics. Like, I would do... I'd probably fly into Joburg, jet over to Cape Town, and then go home. Oh, then I know exactly who you are. Well, you're one of the few South Africans then. <laughs> okay, what is everyone doing? What is happening? Why is everyone cheering? Why did everyone wake up? This is a disaster. Okay, what is Amber Lynn doing? Probably because all the babies started crying. Okay, that's fine. Pandemonium. Mia says I'm from Canada. Mr. QB says I'm Canadian. I'm Canadian too. I'm from Ontario. But I don't live there anymore. I did not check out the routing mod. I'm 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 hesitant to add any mods in while I've got it working nicely. <laughs> but I, but I'll explore it in the future and actually I may want to test it like make a couple houses just like ABC houses. And then like play test them like with the mod without the mod. Okay, you've put him in the high chair. They're just sitting here, not feeding the baby. Is she coming to feed him? Put in crib? No. Feed on floor then. Fine, just feed on floor. Don't care. Of course, Chantal is hungry and tired. Go to sleep. My God, what a disaster. No wonder they all fail school. I'm just gonna pause it and have them all like manually go back to bed. I don't know why you woke up. You can't even do anything. Okay, everyone go to bed at my command. Yeah, cemetery can take care of the babies as usual. Oh, this one's hungry. Is she gonna feed it? No, she's gonna snuggle that. Okay, you can snuggle woe is me and then you can feed pick me. ABCLP part one. Yeah, I'm gonna get on the YouTube kids algorithm. CJ and I were kind of experimenting on YouTube Kids just to see like what things three-year-olds are watching just to see like why their brain's turning to mush. And so like I'm typing in the search bar like Pooh, Pee, Elsa, Spider-Man, Dentist Office and seeing what like pops up and like what pops up but Deligracy and Vixella and I was like, oh God. <laughs> Mush 
But honestly, like, I would much rather have my my young child watching those those two than like most of this like Coco Melon or something. You can learn your colors by watching them build Sims houses. Hello, late, but here. Hope your day was good, Rikowski. Thank you, it was. I'm already halfway through my work week. Oh, God, what's wrong with you? Leprosy is so hungry. Rocking with pick me. Okay, put pick me in crib. And you're gonna feed on floor. Then you're gonna put him in the playpen for two days. Do not mention Coco Melon, please. Oh God. Coco Melon! Blech. Amber Lynn's kids are probably Coco Melon babies. The ironic thing is that Amber Lynn is the one with the tablet, not the kids. So she's like on the tablet. <laughs> okay. Amber Lynn. Potty train morgue. Okay. We're gonna lock in snuggle morgue because that's more likely. Where is morgue? Oh, he's probably in the high chair. No, he's not in the high. Okay, good. I think, yeah. So Bills has him. Bills, go to bed. But oh my God. Okay, what's wrong with morgue? Anything? No, he's fine. Honestly, put, put morgue in this swing. Turn it on and then go to bed. It's 5.46 a.m. Turn on fast. Sleep as long as possible. Wait, real Amberlynn has kids? No, <laughs> she does not. Amber Lynn in real life is a lesbian with a hysterectomy. So she can do like the adoption 100 baby challenge if she'd like. Why are they all up? It's because another baby is screaming. Oh, he doesn't like the, he doesn't like the swing on. Okay, fine. Yeah, he's sick, he's nauseous. Oh God. Okay, Chantal, just turn it off. I want to brush up on my high school math skills. Are there any resources you would recommend? I would recommend just do you, like see if you can find a really good textbook of the math level that you're at and then try to go through like chapter by chapter. You don't have to do every problem and everything. Just like go through it and see like these are the things that I can do. And then when you hit things you can't do, then it'll be given to you in an order in a textbook that, you know, you will be able to learn it. And then you can just look up a quick YouTube video or something on Google about that specific thing. Like, I don't think you should start watching math videos. You won't learn unless you do it. I would just get a textbook, do problems one, three, five, seven, and nine of every chat just to see if you, okay, do I know fractions? Can I solve for X? Like just, those those things so that way when you reach things that you're unable to do then you have all the foundation ready because the, like people come to me and like this is not talking about anyone specific because i've been helping a cotton sock with her math she is a smart woman and she she knows her stuff she studied hard she asks me questions about problems but she's already solved them and like usually they're right so i'm not i just want to i'm not talking about her but some people will like bring me advanced calculus and they're like I, can't, I i don't understand it and then they don't know fractions or something like they, they just don't know fractions and i'm like well if you don't know fractions then factoring this integral is going to be really difficult because you don't understand the building blocks of what we're doing so math is always about you know building on top of what you already know and the reason that most people get discouraged and left behind is because they miss one of those steps 
and then they never learn it, and then everything else after doesn't make any sense. But it's okay, because everyone's bad at math, and like, it's totally socially acceptable. Oh well. Okay, you're making breakfast. Who actually slept? Why are these blue? <laughs> oh no. These are both blue. What, is that a supernatural thing? Someone let me know. I don't play Supernatural and I haven't seen that. Okay. You have no energy. Bills, what is, okay, Bills has a B. Okay, I'm gonna let him go to school. We need two front doors next house. Okay, we've got, we're, we're pretty good. Like most people are in the green-ish. Oh God, you're exhausted. You're exhausted and hungry. You're exhausted, but the rest of you, well, the needs aren't really there, but they're in the green, so that's fine. I don't know where I went wrong. I had A plus in high school calc and then college calc to describe. There is kind of a jump when you get to university, but I will say that calc two, which is what a cotton sock's taking actually, like integral calculus, that is like, that is the biggest jump to make because you learn differential calculus first and you're like, okay, okay, I get this. And then they're like, okay, do it backwards. And you're like, no. <laughs> and then they're like, I, I said this yesterday to her and I said, I don't wanna live in a world where one minus X can randomly turn into the arc secant inverse of something. <clears throat> Try doing maths with dyscalculia. I will just mention this. 96% of people who claim to have it do not. Okay, babies are fed, but have to like use the potty or something at some point. Okay, you're in the playpen. Let's put you in the playpen too, actually. Okay, I don't know what to do. I hope there's no field trip today because if these kids try to leave school with zero energy, I don't think it's gonna work. It didn't help that all our professors sucked. Some guy literally made online teaching company because he went to the same school. Yeah, and like, I don't, I don't believe in online education, like for the most part, like, you know, for like, for tying up loose ends and for certain courses, I'm sure it's fine. But like, if like, if you want to learn, you need to be there. You need to be engaged. You need to be like writing things down with a pen and paper. Like if you're just looking at someone do equations, like you don't stand a chance. You just don't. What is she doing? Why does she always run to mirrors? Okay, yeah, we're just gonna have to trust you. Okay, Cemetery, who's probably tired. Here, this baby's lonely and hungry. You can give it a bath after it goes to the bathroom. Hold. I got the derivative of sine x wrong, thought it was, co oh, oh, sine, sine hx, yeah, no. Like if there, if, if there's an arc, if there's an inverse, all those things, yeah, no, they, they change all the rules. But don't worry, because every time the rules change, you get a fun and easy formula to use. A new one though. Like what was the one I was using yesterday? Like secant squared theta equals one minus co, um, 
post squared theta or something. I don't know. I was I was trying to work through this integral and I was like, oh god. I had to do four substitutions in order to solve it. Like and like I just kept thinking like, okay, surely after this substitution it'll work. But no. That's fine. I'll just use polar coordinates. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, maybe I'll just use this trig stuff. Okay, that's not working. Yeah, his company focuses on supplemental courses to reinforce learning. Yeah, so then like if it's like it's it's different if you're doing like review of things that you are familiar with or have at least seen versus learning something from scratch. Like I would never recommend like calc one online. If you have a really good um, professor or TA who's like really engaging with the class online, then it, then, you know, it could be fine. But like, I'm a big, like, call me old fashioned, but it needs like a chalkboard and a smart person in front of you. That's the best way. And you need to write everything that they write Yes, because if you have like dyscalculia or something like that, that's an entirely separate pro like I don't know how like I don't know how to address that in a helpful way. What I'm good at with people is a lot of people have a phobia of math, like an actual phobia, like have been traumatized from some math test or something or some mean teacher. So I tend to try to be a strong hand to guide you through the fog. Okay, does anyone know why these are blue? And if someone answered, I'm sorry, but I didn't see it. But like, why are these? Ew, they're mermaids. They're flaky. That's what that is. Oh no, she must. Ew, how did that happen? Yeah, like I've never had a mermaid in The Sims 3 ever, ever, ever. I don't ever. <laughs> math is your friend. I liked math because it's like you can get perfect in it. Like just get a hundred on all the tests, learn how to do everything. Leprosy has learned to talk, probably because of no help to me. But it's also the subject where if you don't understand it, you can literally get zero. They are on a field trip, oh God. This is not going well. Stardew with CJ Rec, we've, we've done that before. In fact, that was probably my least viewed stream. So if you'd like to go watch it, that would be fantastic. <laughs> okay, so Bills has collapsed. Foosball, let the nice police officer out of the cell now. Oh God. Oh, Bills, what's happening? Okay, good. He got up. They didn't take the bus. I don't care. We're rich. They can take taxis. Please go home. Oh, Kyle's back. Screaming as usual. Okay, who's not gone home yet? You go home. Here, you go home too. Go home. I love how he is the school bus icon, but there is no school bus. Let's see what he does. Oh, the school bus is over here now. Okay, I'm in the... I'm all mixed up. Hurry up. Okay, that's all of them. The rest of you are on the other bus. What are you doing? Okay, honestly. He's he he's trying to go to his field trip. Is this fried rice? It is fried rice. Look at his feet. He's got these, I like those shoes. I just don't know if, 
That red is his socks or his ankles? Let's check. Okay, no, it's part of the shoe. This is a screenshot. Okay, let's just take a walk through Barnacle Bay. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so we have that ugly pirate ship looking at, or like tugboat style house. Did these windows come with Barnacle Bay? Probably. Wreck, if you keep your mermaids away from salt water for too long, the beach, then they will become regular sims. Thank goodness. I don't know if I want to deal with that. So they can just take baths and stuff, right? I did a maths rewrite and got a lower mark than my first attempt. Oh no. I am also a big fan of like, don't change your answer unless you know that you're wrong. Like you can re redo a question if you want, but like, especially when it comes to like multiple choice stuff, don't just like change it at the last minute. It usually results in worse. What do you want? Piggy. Piggy what? Come in. Kyle's back. Hey, fried rice. Okay, now he's going home. He's missed the whole field trip. It's it's because he has the bike. Let's look at the... Let's just go through the open world. Well, we can't do an open world in The Sims 4 because it'll be too laggy. Really? Oh, we're driving past the Caliente's house. I can see their curtains. Are those on the outside? Ew. I hope not. I hope that's just bugged. Yes, just baths. Nearly had that for this one, Sim, in my 100 baby challenge. We're all doing 100 baby. Look at the beds. Oh my goodness. You need to see this row of beds. I often use your EA house tours ratings to decide which house I want to move into. That's a good idea. I do that with CJ's world reviews. Like, if I'm like, hmm, I just want to play a little bit in a custom hood, I'll just like pull up the thumbnails, click on a couple I like, and then like look through the videos, be like, how are the builds? How's the world? Kyle, you're not going up there. You're not going up there. It's the truth. Period. -y. <laughs> hey, come on. Come on, piggy. Look this way. Look this way. He's so weird. Come on. Come on. Piggy. Remember, I can pet you. He's being so weird. I just, I just want him to face forward. Okay, this baby is in the red, so hungry, and so lonely. Cemetery to the rescue. Okay, I'm gonna try and take care of these kids. Are you at prom? Oh no, it's prom night! Oh no! <laughs> You're asking too much of him, honestly. Hello, Rico. Hi, how are you? Tatum says, I'm doing 100 baby because of you. You said in one stream that you don't think any simmers have actually completed the challenge. I intend to change that. I do too. Like, I just want to do it, get through it. I'm not sure if anyone's done the full 100 baby on... The Sims 3 before. I know Lil Simsy finished The Sims 4. I got to 42 babies in The Sims 4, and then Batu was announced, and I never opened it again. Okay, what are you doing? What's happening? Okay, Kyle's just gonna lick himself. You are all at prom. <sighs> Should we just raise their energy and cheat it and pretend it's drugs? Mia says, I have to go 
I'm, I unfortunately need to go because I have work. See you. Well, you have a good rest of your night. Okay, well, I'm just going to let them be exhausted at prom. They're all exhausted. Okay, I'm going to do the thing where I lock for everyone but Amberlynn. And then I'm going to add cemetery. Okay. Where's cemetery? Stop it. Please don't bite your bum in front of people. Stop it. Stop it. He's being so weird. I was being weird. Now he's licking me. Now he's grabbed my arm. <laughs> hey, there you go. You're overstimulated. I was overstimulated. We we have multiple cats. I barely register it anymore. Okay. Feet on floor. Okay, I didn't finish the doors. I'm gonna make sure no one else can get in here. Oh God. Lock. Specify Sims. Okay, that one's fine. Lock, specify Sims. Cemetery. And lock. Specify Sims. Cemetery. Perfect. Is this baby growing up? Oh God, we missed another birthday. Honestly, I did most of the birthdays with cakes. So, you know what? We've had enough cake. I'm just gonna let this happen. The days have flown by. Woe is me is now a toddler. He still needs a lot of caring for, but can now also learn basic sim skills. Like walk, now Kyle's having zoomies. <laughs> what he learns at this age, blah, 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 blah. Perfect. Okay, put him put him in the playpen. Put what was me in the playpen. She is always running. In cemetery like runway walks. Okay, Morg is hungry. Yeah, so she was gonna feed him and then I canceled it. So let's just reenact that. No, don't put what was me there. Okay, Kyle's really zoomed now. I might put him up on the windowsill in my bedroom just so he can look out the window. I might go do that. Okay, let me just figure this out first. Why is it only woe is me? Oh God, pick me. Pick me's having her birthday. Amberlynn had all the cakes, literally. Okay, I hope I hope prom is going well for all of you. Look at these. They're gonna die. Pick me is now a toddler. I have not saved in like over a half hour. Let's save as. Oh, I can't because it's a birthday. I have to wipe his nose every time he comes from outside, but... Oh, he gets pollen on it. Kyle just zoomed right past and tackled the wall. The wall is yet another floor... Or is something another floor, and I agree. I can't remember the quote, but I am still inspired by it. Okay, and we've got Cheese String's birthday. Baby Cheese String. Let's see. Kyle sneezed. <laughs> Are you sneezing? Is Kyle sneezing? Oh, yeah, no, he's calm down now. A little bit. Poor baby. What is a wall but merely another floor? Thank you. Okay, there she goes. And Amberlynn's butt is in the way, as usual. Why is she running to the rocking chair? Okay, honestly. Go to bed. Go to bed. Cemetery can handle this. We don't have any babies anymore, so maybe tomorrow morning 
we'll go... We'll go figure out another pregnancy. Oh, God. Look at this baby's legs. That's, that's, that's how cats are. Like, straight out limbs pushing you away. Literally a cat. Okay, they're taking care of everything. Okay, all the babies are doing fine. The teenagers, that's kind of their own fault. Ah, uh, the sweet serenade of a thousand wailing infants. Literally this whole challenge. Okay, Amberlynn's going to bed. At least someone's going to bed. I'm just gonna leave a camera on cemetery. I'm gonna go put Kyle up on the windowsill because now he's licking his empty food bowl. Licking his empty food bowl. And he doesn't get fed until 6 a.m. tomorrow, so. Like, it doesn't look like he's missed a meal. Okay, I'm gonna leave it on cemetery. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try and make him happy. Oh, she's gonna eat mac and cheese. Riveting content, I tell you. Okay, Piggy. That is Okay, Kyle's happily at the window. Ugh. Oh my god. Came back and not graceful. Let's see, what did I miss? Kyle doesn't remember his meal. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, he'll eat and then immediately be hungry. And he's like, he's not underweight. So it's like, what? Like, I'm not underfeeding you, but you would make, you would believe it. At least he licks the empty bowl. My baby shadow just screams at me until she gives up. I had, a, I had another cat like that. She used to just scream nonstop. Love it when cats do that fast leg kick thing when they get annoyed because it reminds me of rabbits. That's how rabbits jump. Hey, y'all are done your prom? Bill's Jalopy just went to prom. Harley Jr. went to prom. Chantal went to prom, Jasper went to prom, Tragedy went to prom, Sora went to prom, Rugrat went to prom, Misfortune went to prom. Oh my, look at all these taxis. Chantal is starting to feel a little bit ill. Well, maybe she shouldn't have hit the buffet so hard. So is Amber Lynn. Why are they the only two sick ones? Okay, it's raining, so I'm gonna save again. Maybe he wants some lasagna. I have frozen lasagna, but I don't want to make it tonight. It'll take too long. I'm gonna have my favorite soup, because it'll take me five minutes. I love Chantal. I wonder if she'll be like Cemetery. I just realized my microphone was so far away. I love Chantal. I wonder if she'll be like Cemetery. She might be. I'm kind of down for Chantal to be a bald queen. And maybe she'll turn into a swan like Cemetery. Well, I promise Cemetery's beautiful. She's just making an ugly face right now. Oh God, I hit it on speed three. This, this household is not designed for speed three. So I'm just gonna not do that. <laughs> oh, I thought he died. Look at his legs. It looks like he's wearing fishnets. Okay, go to bed. D Oh God, Rugrat did the same thing. Okay, well they can go, they can have a bath soon. Yeah, she can take a. You, okay, we have one bathtub. Let's get a second bathtub. Oh God, no one's putting their laundry in the right place.
I'm gonna use this one because it's from the store. So I spent money on it and I've never used it. There you go, you can use that one. Wait, you have half mermaid kids? I guess. Who's your father? Well, it's one kind of fishnet, honestly. Wow, I miss so much. You have mermaids now, I guess. <laughs> so Rugrat's father is Jonah Lai, who I guess is a mermaid because her twin, yeah, like her twin is also a mermaid, but these are like Sims from the world. Are there mermaids in Barnacle Bay? Ew. Maybe with EA story progression, he became a mermaid. And then we just had his babies. I was heating up a frozen meal that I didn't manage to eat at lunch and my roommate saw me and said, is that filling though? What I eat is nobody's business but mine. That's the way I see it. I, I also like tend to not value the thoughts and opinions of others. So it's like, it doesn't, doesn't bother me. If you have Island Paradise installed, random Sims will be assigned to be mermaids. Okay, that's exactly what happened then. We had Island Paradise ins installed and we saw the wrong beautiful man. Are they gonna wake up eventually? Okay, go to the bathtub. Hurry. She's also hungry. The mermaids are gonna be the hardest ones to deal with. Okay, you're hungry. Feet on floor. The other ones aren't screaming at least. Oh, I forgot one in the high chair. Oh no. Okay. Then you can pick up leprosy. Wake up. I'm gonna let Amberlynn get fully rested so that way we can go get pregnant again. I'm so sad I missed like an hour of your stream. That's okay. If you like, they're always re-uploaded like at the end of the stream on YouTube. So you can always re-watch re re it or you can just wait for the next one. We didn't do anything like super Important. We did a lot of review. We just caught up because it's been a week since we've played. So we did a family tree recap. We we took control of the situation and now we're losing control of the situation. That's pretty much the last hour. Yay, give the bottle. Perfect. Okay. Oh, she has to go to the bathroom first. Okay, Amberlynn, wake up. No, I want Amberlynn to have the rested thing. She's having a midlife crisis. Oh, God. She needs to be pregnant again. A mermaid matriarch? I don't want to do that. It's too niche for me. I like regular, normal, ugly Sims 3 Sims. That's my jam. Is there a burglar? I heard the music. It's very possible. I can't see, barely see. Cause I got the lights bright in my face too. Do we have bills yet? No, okay, perfect. I don't see any burglar. It's possible they're just unroutable, just like my Sims. Okay, it's 516 for some reason. Everyone's woken up. Ew, okay, this, this bedroom needs another door now. I just noticed this. There we go. We'll do that. Oh, Harley's back. She came back from the, well, she's not back from the grave, but she's here. Hi, good to see you. Oh, she's sitting on the couch. 
Now she's moved over. Okay, excellent. So we need some showers and some baths. Eat leftover cake slice, fine. You can do hunger first. They're all going for leftover cake. All of them. Oh, you're just paranoid. You're doing really well. Tragedy is kind of like the unsung hero of, of her generation. She just takes care of herself. She does her homework. I guarantee that her homework is done. Oh, she didn't do it. Okay, the first time she didn't do it. Wait, doesn't Supernatural Sims count as two? Even if it does, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to do 98 babies and call it the 100 baby challenge. Because I'm authentic. Mourn. Did she die? Oh no, we lost one. We lo is she dehydrated? Uh-oh. <laughs> What's happened? Is it Rugrat? What happened to Rugrat? I missed it. Oh no, we've lost one. That's okay, we have so many. What's going on? Goodness. Well, it's a good thing she wasn't the matriarch. Okay, you need to like, you're gonna take a day off school and go to bed. You have a C. Oh, people died? I looked away for three minutes. Honestly, I wasn't even paying attention. I'm not even sure what happened, but Rugrat has perished. Do the babies still count if they die? I don't think so. So we'll have to have another one. I think they have to get to adulthood. Honestly, since The Sims is a one player game, like I like to follow the rules and I don't like to cheat, but I like to, you know, like I will use my discretion and oh God, now they're all gonna be sad for two days. The other ghost is welcoming Rugrat, honestly. You can go hang out with grandma, dead grandma. Okay, what happened? Yeah, she died of dehydration. So I didn't realize that they could die. Like, I knew they could die from it, but like, I didn't understand that she was a mermaid until relatively recently. So that's okay. N now we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Now I'm not gonna be able to tell who's hungry because they're all in the red from being sad. Oh, Kyle's back. Whoa, Rugrat was a mermaid? I found out like an hour ago. Kyle, what? Oh, uh, was that a kid or an adult? She was a teenager. She just went to prom. Oh, well. Amber Lynn's doing just wonderfully, though. She's still feeling good. She's like, you know what? I I didn't need that many babies. Actually, she did. So she's gonna have to go out and get and get more. So we should do that today. It's a Thursday. It's a school day. Yes, there's a school bus. And you know what? We have a couple A students. So they're doing fine. A couple B students. One C student who has not slept, whatever. At least you're hydrated. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. You don't go to school. Yeah, so all of them can go to school automatically. Cemetery can take care of the babies. Here, I'm gonna put Cemetery in the rocking chair and Amber Lynn is gonna have a shower and hit the town. She can shower in the laundry room. <clears throat> Who's next in line for the matriarch? So at this point, it's pick me. So if we don't have another girl, it's gonna be pick me. 
Oh, you have to raise the kids to adult for them to count in the challenge? I think so. And if that's not the rule, that's the rule I'm gonna use. Like if a, the way I figured is that if a kid gets taken away or if it dies, then I then it doesn't count. Why are you, what are you doing? Slowly walking to the school bus. Yeah, it's foosball. I knew it wasn't fried rice because fried rice would have got to the school bus faster, I think. Yeah, see? Fried rice is in there. I love how you can actually see kids inside the bus. She's still on the family tree, ellipses. Yeah, that's true too. If I'm about to rage quit at 99 babies, then we'll count her. I'll allow, yeah, see, she's there. Rugrat. <laughs> she's dead. Ariel's still alive though. Oh. Okay, Amber Lynn. Are you still playing with toys? Yeah, so she had her shower. What's wrong with you? Here, hold your, hold leprosy for like two seconds, then you can go out. Snuggle. She's still a runner. I don't think we're gonna get blog artists done. Let's see. Should I get them? I don't want the moodlet manager. It's too cheaty. Oh, I could get the motive mobile. Let's do that. I. I've seen people use it, but I've never used it. So I'm gonna do it. I got Motive Mobile. She'll come back and visit at, as a ghost. Absolutely. Like I'm gonna keep the whole, like I'm looking forward to decorating my 100 baby cemetery. Like my 100 dead baby challenge. We're gonna make a beautiful graveyard. Beautiful. We'll use Katy Perry sweet treats. Also, for the next world and the next generation, I'd like to build a casino. Cemetery. Okay, Amberlynn, we're gonna go out on the town. I'd like to get pregnant again. Okay, you know what? Where should we go? I'm not gonna go to the festival because we've done that like twice. Oh God, this is SimFest. Mm, it is at a coffee shop. Okay, let's go to SimFest. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Amberlynn without a loading screen. And without a loading screen, we're gonna go to a lot on the other side of the world. Let's do it. Look at her run. You better take the car. Oh no, she's run. Let's have her run. This is a good idea actually. Cause I have the go here mod installed, I forgot. The 100 dead baby challenge sounds morbid. One of our daughters was named morbid. Yeah, she, it's it, it's not this generation, it's the last one. The 100 baby mausoleum. The 100 baby crypt instead of crib. <laughs> That's a challenge for Midnight Hollow. I hope we get a Midnight Hollow generation. When Amber Lynn's an elder and we're prepping the matriarch to be our next baby factory, then we'll put some more worlds on the wheel. We'll spin the wheel and whatever we land on, we land on. She's doing very well. It's a good thing she likes running. Like she runs all over the house. Look at this little starter house. Very starter Sims house.
just build an entire catacomb system underneath the house. That's not a bad idea. Look how many windows this thing has. Oh God, that's a house. I thought it was a community lot. Oh God. No matter how many times I see these, they're just, they're always awful. Always. Oh, of course I'll Victorian it. I Victorian everything. Okay. Are you, are you biologically male? It's really the, let's do a really loud introduction. Oh, she loves him already. That's just her style. She slid right in there. Oh good, he likes that. Okay. Ooh, we're already like, maybe we don't need to use one of those potions. Let's just try it the old fashioned way. If he's not single, then I'll use the potion. Biologically male. Yes, like I'm ba like, do you produce sperm? Because I'm producing eggs. And I'd like to have four babies at once. This music better not be copyrighted. I'm gonna have her compliment him. They're just doing this in the rain. It is what it is. And she's sick. She's Jeremy. Okay, he's single. That's good. Okay, the flirting is working. <laughs> to be fair, it's a Sims game. He could be made from inorganic matter. Yeah, like he could be like um, genitalless alien, as far as I know. Okay. She had to check her phone so bad. Maybe they can eat together. Yeah, you can eat with Sergio. He's picking up what she's putting down, honestly. Oh, this stage is giving sweet treats. Are they gonna eat together? He changed. Yay, it worked. Okay, they're going into the diner for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna save. Would you ever start a new renovating series? See, like, I'm not sure if I would do a whole other world. I almost finished Sunset Valley, but okay. So like, I didn't know if I wanted to talk about this. I was, tr but I'm kind of running out of options. So I have most of the world done, but I did it in Adventureland. So the world was empty and it wouldn't lag, but now it won't let me edit town and I can't take out the builds from it. So if anyone knows how to get Sims 3 builds out of a Sims 3 save file, that would be helpful. Uh, or to just like, I've tried cleaning the save file. I've tried renaming the save file. I, like I cannot edit town. I cannot save. I cannot do anything like that. So, and I cannot send anything to the exchange. So most of it's done. It's just sitting there and I would continue it and finish it off, but yeah. Check on the Todds, thank you. Most of these people are just sad. Yeah, sad and tired. Oh no. Okay, you're dirty. Oh, you're hungry. Okay, and Cemetery is already giving the bottle. It's just so sad how we'll never get like another Sims game like this. 
The Sims 5 is gonna look nothing like this. I'm so sad. Renovating a whole town sounds so exhausting, to be honest. I could do it. It's honestly the videos. Like, I could do 94 builds, but like 94 videos is a lot. Like, and it sounds, it sounds easy. Like, if you go back to like my speed builds, it seems to the untrained eye that it's just me talking over the footage, right? But there's a lot of little edits and jump, like it's time consuming. Like I love making the videos, but sometimes it just gets a little tedious. So it's like, I would have to spend two hours on the build. Then I'd have to spend an hour recording like the voice and stuff. And then I'd have to spend like three hours, maybe four doing all my jump cuts, all my audio editing, all my little transitions like so it so it would just be like can i feasibly get this done in a year and i don't think the answer is yes but like to do like okay so first of all i have a speed build done and ready so i'm gonna get that out as soon as possible i just have to do the voiceover for it and do the editing but like the build is done and i did a victorian mansion so we'll have a build video from me very soon i'm sure i have four days off so i'll probably spend one day getting the video out um one of those days over easter so that that we can look forward to but yeah like in terms of doing build videos totally like and i might just do like i'm renovating this ugly house in this world i might just do renovating the ugliest house in each world that might be a series i could do because that's what 12 worlds 13 like i can do that don't you ever just lose the motivation while building I either hyper focus or I lose interest instantly. And if I lose focus, you need to take a break. Like you need to like pause the game, save the game, go do something else. Like if you have a quick errand to run, like go to the grocery store, run to McDonald's, whatever the situation may be for you. Just go, go do some, go do something else for a little bit. Okay, Amber Lynn did not get pregnant, but she did make a friend. They are friends. And in fact, it's only 4.33 p.m. So I'm going to send her home. I can't believe we had a death. Oh, well. Bye-bye, Rugrat. No faith in EA. I'm dreading what they might do to the next Mass Effect or Dragon Age. What do you think they're going to do to it? Oh, we're in the Motive Mobile. Yay. Look at this thing. I hope they can take this to school. Hmm. I like that motive mobile already. Oh, he's here. He's here. Greet. I was going to invite him over, but he's already here. We're going to have our first kiss and everything. I love how they're going to go out to the front yard to do that. What is she doing? She's so weird. Okay. You're one of the funniest simmers, I swear to God. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Teach one of your teens to drive, then make them all go to school together would be good if they have low needs. We could do that. And honestly, I was going to say it should be tragedy, but tragedy is <laughs> not doing so well. Actually, she mostly just has negative moodlets. Okay, Amber Lynn. Very alluring. First kiss. Please do first kiss. Here we go. Beautiful. Hold hands. Massage. Oh, dip kiss. Romantic. 
Massage. Then hopefully it's irresistible so we can do the try for baby. We didn't even cheat for this one. Look at us. No, he left. No. Okay, honestly, that's fine. We'll just invite him over. Because he'll come over because we didn't invite him already. So he's made the cupcake and he's thinking about his dead sister. Great. Name the baby Trisha Paytas. We could add that to the wheel for sure. Keep that in mind for ne probably the next episode is when we'll is when we'll name it. Because even if we get pregnant, we probably won't have time to give birth tonight. She's oh my god. Wait till you see what she does to Bills. Wait till you see this. I'm gonna have Bills stop what he's doing so she can do what she wants to do. <gasps> Chantal's doing laundry. <laughs> she can sneak. Yeah, she's a dainty girl. Dainty girl. Oh my god, there's a kid outside. Is it one of mine? If not, I'm not I don't care. <laughs> Look at the lightning hitting. See, everyone's getting in the green. I didn't even have to do anything. Look at these. It's honestly, sometimes it works out better when you just leave the lot for a little bit. My son is grieving the loss of his sibling. Try time to scare him. You're next. <laughs> That's okay. They're getting along. Okay, Amberlyn. Amberlyn. Okay, let's invite Sergio over. Invite over. I'm also going to have to remember to unlock her door. Okay, he's coming over. That's perfect. People tell me I'm being negative and I need to have faith in EA. Those people are delusional. Delusional. Like, I, I, I hate doing the comparison as usual, but like toxic boyfriend, you know, like toxic intimate partner lies, makes up stories, um, lots of nasty surprises, um, gaslighting you. You have to be faithful to them. And if you say anything negative, like, oh my God. She can sneak, she has the padding, oh dear. Sounds like my ex, sounds like my ex. Honestly, we all have an ex like that. And like, by the time you break it off with them, you have less money, you have less happiness, you have less of your soul. Like if, if your mental health is correlated with The Sims for doing well or being good, you're screwed, screwed. Bye. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Cemetery is asleep. Thank goodness someone went to sleep. Is he at the door yet? Let's check. It's 9.08 p.m. Oh, he is at the door. Okay. He blends right into this wall. Because, like, the way I see it... So, in math, I've... I think I've mentioned this before, but... In math, we kind of learn that like things happen zero times, one time only ever, or an infinite number of times. And with EA, how many times have we been disappointed? The pack has been broken. Like it's like clockwork and it's fun for these people. Like people are so excited about new expansion packs they love the trailer they love the news content about it they love the tweets they love the live stream and then once it's released nothing like everyone buys it barely anyone can play it it's broken it's this and that and then all the positive people are like oh, 
darn it, EA blew it again. Like, stop giving this company your goddamn money. Like, ugh. Give them money when they do well. That's the only way. That's the only way to teach a company like this. When the money stops, you best believe their tongues will be right up our butts. Oh, here, here's cars, here's an open world, here's this, here's that. Like, if if Simsy did like a pack strike, like, oh my God. If I were Simsy, I would do that. I'd be like, you know what? I own a home. I have a, I have a man downstairs editing my videos. I'm rich. You know what? Let's just take the shit down with me. I'll be like, strike against EA. Vote with your wallets, totally. Okay, they are extremely irresistible and I barely did anything. So we're gonna go to romantic. And we're gonna do, actually we're gonna unlock the door. Oh no, this one's already unlocked. It's just the baby's room that's locked. So we're gonna do, try for baby. The Sims 4 is over a thousand dollars. Like you could to like my computer is not worth more than the Sims 4. She hasn't got the guts to do it. I think she would like I don't I don't doubt her her convictions or zeal. I think she has the ability to do anything that she puts her mind to. But like I don't recommend that she do that. I just thought it would be funny. Like, if I were her, like, her and I have different mental illnesses, right? Mine would allow me to do that. Oh, Kyo, I remember you, because I had to learn how to say your name, like, a year ago, and I remembered. Amberlyn's waiting. Where is he going? No. No, he's leaving because he's tired. He's too tired. No! I thought we were going to get pregnant. Okay, we can do it in the morning. He better not have a job. Okay, well, he's leaving. A year ago, I'm aging rapidly. Tell me about it. Okay, I don't know what Amber Lynn's doing. She's gonna play soccer with somebody? I don't think so. She needs to go to bed. Oh no, she doesn't have to go to bed. She can take care of the babies. Why are you up eating a muffin? Go to bed. Oh God, I'm gonna have to tell these people to go to bed again. Go to bed. Okay. Miss Fortune is doing her homework through some miracle. So is Bills. I'm gonna save as. The Sims 4 would truly be down the toilet if Simsy boycotted it. I completely believe that. I like her more than EA. Like, I have no problems with Lil Simsy. I think Lil Simsy is an icon and made her dreams come true. Like, what can I say about that? Like, she built so many houses that she was able to build a real life house herself. And I congratulate her for that. And like, I've never, like, I like I've seen a lot of her content not really in the last couple years but I saw a lot of it for like a long time and like she's never said anything that upset me ever and I'm really easy to get like to piss off right so if she's if she's not you know because like she just minds her business and does her thing and I'm like perfect little simsy making blue suburbans for a better sims future honestly like I always joke that she could solve the housing crisis because she's built so many little tiny su blue suburban houses. Doom, 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 doom. Some of them are dirty. I have one, two, three. I have like four to five showers and baths in this house. Should I add, I should, I should add another one. Should I get another bathroom? I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't know if I wanna make any other room smaller. 
Okay, Chantal's going to bed. Jasper, please don't wake up sad. Oh, he actually slept, so he can actually eat something. Okay, you're learning to walk, perfect. The housing crisis is more because of landlords and capitalism. So from my understanding, according, according to the data, well, at least in Canada, uh, it's, it's more um, not individual landlords, but um, property development companies or like, or like property management companies. So like they'll buy up so many, so many apartment buildings and just jack up the rent on all of them. And then like, regular landlords who are like renting out like their their extra house they're just matching whatever rates these corporations are setting too so it's usually not like it's not it's not so much individual people as it is systematic but i agree i'm fortunate enough i have a i have a good apartment in a big city and i can afford it so that's thank god because like these days that is not a guarantee like when I first started living on my own, like almost 20 years ago, like if you had a job, you could have an apartment like that. Like you could just have an apartment. You might not be able to have one right downtown, but you'd be able to have an apartment. Hence the capitalism um, thing in America. It's even worse. I disagree with that. It's worse in Canada. It's like it's it is crazy like our prices in shitty cities are like getting into like new york rents it's nuts like we're talking like four thousand for a one and a half bedroom I'm, like new york city and san francisco probably have canada beat but like calgary's getting bad toronto has always been awful vancouver's awful I moved to Montreal because I knew that we that we wouldn't have a housing shortage <laughs> because nobody wants to learn French. So no one would move here unless they were from somewhere that already spoke French. Like France or Africa or something. It's funny because I lived in Calgary for several years. I just moved away from Calgary and now everyone is moving to Calgary. They're like, we're gonna come here and get good jobs. I'm like, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Living my wildest dreams through the Sims, having a house, a stable job and a healthy relationship. You're always looking for one of the three. As an adult, I can tell you this. You're always looking for your, your dream apartment, your dream job or your dream man. And you, often can have two of those things like if you try your best you can have two of those three things but never all three never i've never heard of anyone having all three and i am for lack of a better term voluntarily celibate i use my charm and looks my gorgeous looks to get what I want. I am that is not like, not in like a sexual way or like in a dating way. Like if someone has like a video game I'd like to borrow, like I'll be really nice to you. But like, it's the last thing on my mind. I can only take care of me. I don't have time to take care of somebody else. Their thoughts, hopes, needs, and dreams. Like I'm, I'm worrying about mine first. We love a voluntary celibate. And I'm not like asexual or anything. Like I'm not like wired. I guess I'm just wired differently in the way where I want to put myself first and I'm very self-centered. So I'm very good at that. So, but I think that's the best thing for me to do. I'm also like an only child and like, I'm just used to being by myself. I'm you like, I am like, I am totally content with being alone. Like not like no friends, no family, like in the room. Like I can just sit there by myself and be happy. And I think that's rare. So I'm enjoying it. Oh no, what did I hit? Start snubbing Chantal. Should we do that? No. <laughs> I'm gonna save again. 
You speak the truth that most are afraid to admit. That's that's where my humor comes from. You just have to like, it's like, why would I spend time? Like, I, I'm too tired. Like, I have a job. I have things to do. And it's like, I just don't have time. Oh my God, sorry. Things are like happening. My screen is like bugged, bugged right out. And I forgot what I was going to say. But like humor always makes you laugh when it's like a surprise truth. And like, I don't want to spend my energy doing the influencer thing where I'm like, here's me in my perfect life or my, or my disastrous breakdown life. Like this is the real me. This is how I speak. This is how I think. This is how I talk. And I'm not like ashamed, like I do feel shame and I do feel insecure about things, but they're not the things that most people are insecure about. So like for me, like I can just put myself out there. You need to stop crying about your dead sister. And oh my God, where are you? You're asleep. Hey, wake up and eat something. Oh no, she ate the last of it. Of course she did. When you're in a sibling household, you have to share, you have to get along and you have to compromise. Yeah, like, and like, I just don't know how to do that. Like I'm self-centered. I try not to be selfish, but like, and like my closest friend in real life is an only child as well. And we get along so well because we just understand, like we'll sit down to play a game. Let's just say for example, and then like one of us will be like, Oh, I need to use that controller. And like the other one completely understands. Like if the other one doesn't care, we're like, oh yeah, sure. Like, you know, I understand because you know, when you're an only child, you get to use the controller you want. So we indulge each other's selfishness. We're not listening to this song. Okay, <laughs> I understand. There's some songs that I don't want to listen to either. So it's kind of like tit for tat. I often feel guilty for being so self-centered, but it's just real. But it's like, I'm not, but like at the same time, like I'm a grown adult. So like I choose to not date somebody at this time in my life, right? Like, it's not like I've dragged someone along through mental health struggles while being selfish and all these things. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, you know what? I need to be, I need to be happy by myself before I can be happy with anybody else. And I'm getting very close. I'm doing way better this year than last year. I'm doing way better last year than the year before. Having a Sims channel saved my life. Oh, that'd be a fun video. You wanna talk about gaslighting an audience? <laughs> That'll do it. If you guys didn't subscribe, then who knows what would have happened? People are nuts. I saw someone on Twitter literally say, people unsubscribing is hurting my mental health. Like, how dare you gaslight your audience like that? How about you make a video that people wanna watch? What an idea. My God, look at all these birthdays. I think it's everyone's birthday. Okay, so our next stream is going to have to be the birthday stream. Okay, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save as. Better yet, you can just have dates, like edible dates. I don't like dates. I don't like dates or prunes or figs or any of those weird fruits. I like, I like oranges, tangerines and clementines <laughs> and strawberries and blueberries. I like ABC one, two, three stuff. I'm very, I'm, I am, I am a basic white girl. Your audience has the freedom to choose whether or not to, like that honestly, and like some people unsubscribe because they're angry, but they'll still watch you. And some people stay subscribed forever and just forget you exist. So it's like, like, like your, your happiness cannot be tied to that. Like it's great. It's great when you succeed in things and do well. 
like I said, like, I can't put my happiness in the hands of somebody else. Me, 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 me. It's all about me. But yes, my final point, as I was saying, it's one thing to be selfish, and it's another thing to hurt people with your selfishness. Like, I sit alone in my apartment, so I can do what I want. <laughs> like, it's like, it's not bothering anybody except from 6 to 8 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays when I'm streaming, then, then, then I could accidentally hurt people. But other than that, she's still in the mirror. She loves this mirror. She's pretty pleased with herself. Where is she running to again? She runs to the stair, takes her time. She wants to have eight friends. I think that's doable. Is, what is that? What is she playing with? Oh, it's a toy. I thought there was an animal outside. I'm not sure I agree with that. Like, I think, like, some people are career YouTubers and do a good job. And in fact, if I remember correctly, the person who said that has a job and just does YouTube also so it's like anyway i don't know like i understand if it's like youtube is your only money and then like all your money drops like i understand that anxiety but like you just have to like always have like i always like to have backups for everything you know what i mean like i liked you know it's like i did i did a math degree before pursuing other types of careers, one of which being something very volatile. Like, I've always had very volatile work. Like, starting off being like a poor kid in high school, like I worked like fast food, into like other restaurants. In my late teens and early 20s, I did lots of like acting and like auditioning and things like, and those things pay really well when you get the job, but they don't pay at all if you don't. So it's like, you might make no money for three months and then bam, you get like five grand. So it's like, so you're still making minimum wage. It's just in a different way. And then YouTube, like, I don't know what I expected from YouTube. Honestly, I think every Sims YouTuber starts thinking here, I'm going to go to full screen. We're going to save. I'll be right back. See if we can do this the right way. But like you also have to be re realistic about things. So here we are back again. So like, yeah, like to be like a career YouTuber or something, like you have to make sure you're good and you have to make sure that you have something sustainable. Like you're not off of the trends or whatever. Like, and it's honestly, now it's harder to be a, like, to start as a YouTuber. I wouldn't say it's harder to be a YouTuber, but to start as a YouTuber, like, I'm just a small channel and it's like, I had to have a good microphone. I had to have good editing skills. I had to be witty and funny and controversial and like clickbaity and all these things. And like, you know, like you need all that stuff to do well nowadays. Like you can't just, it isn't like 2013. You can't just turn on OBS, start talking for, eight minutes and one second, and then like put a Sims trailer over it and then think that you're gonna take off or just like do a do a build video where you just build a house and talk about it. Like you have to have an idea as to what people are gonna wanna see, what they wanna click on, what they wanna watch through. You have to make sure that you are entertaining, no breaths, no coughs, no dog barking in the background, no computer fan. Like it's, there's so many moving parts. So it's like, if you want to start, I say, like, just be prepared that it is like a job. Like, it's a job. It's not like, oh, I woke up and I'm going to play The Sims for 30 minutes and then I'm going to go spend the rest of the day in my mansion. <laughs> also consistent. Had an ex-friend who wanted to be a Twitch streamer but wouldn't stream every day. Yeah, like, and, well, streaming is a whole different ballpark. Streaming is a different, like, YouTube is different from TikTok and both are different from streaming. I'm not a streamer. I'm just playing The Sims on live stream, if that makes sense. I try to make it a digestible experience, but, like, in no where in my aspirations is to be, like, a professional streamer. You know, like, I feel lazy. 
doing streams instead of videos. I feel lazy. I'm such a boomer. I'm like, you need to work harder. Grr, you are. And like, I work 44 hours a week at my job already. And I'm like, you should be doing more. So I understand that's not realistic. So I'm just like, you know what? I just want to play The Sims. I spent two years making videos, helping people play The Sims and like giving people ideas. And, you know, I just want to play it for a little bit. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna come back with a POW video. So I wanted like, my favorite video I've ever done is a Sims 1 documentary. And I would love to do one for The Sims 2. And if I did one for The Sims 2, it'll probably be a two and a half hour feature film. So it's like, I'm gonna need some time and stuff to do that. I had a few things ready. I wasn't sure what route I wanted to go down. I could have went down a dramatic route because I just save all these receipts from people making a fool of themselves on the internet. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna wait for them to hate me. Then I can just click unprivate the video and then I can just go live. So we'll just do that instead. But. I want to do like documentary stuff. I want to do something more serious and like, cause I've never really, I never even respected filmmaking as an art coming from, coming from somebody who is like, you know, into fine arts and into mathematics and a classical studies and things like that. Like I'm like, hmm, like film photography being an art. Now I'm older, now I realize, oh my God, that stuff is hard, right? And like, you can make a beautiful video or take a beautiful photograph. And the thing is, everyone can take a photo. Everyone can take a video, but it takes talent to make like a film, right? So I would love to try something like that. My Sims 1 documentary is the closest closest it's ever got to, but I kept it base game. I didn't talk about any expansion pack, so it was like just under an hour or so, but I'd like to do more stuff like that. So Sierra says, would love a Sims doc with your commentary. Sounds, sounds awesome here. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna, because although the video, my first documentary like is still getting viewed and like one of my consistent videos, it didn't perform as well as I would have liked it to. And like, sometimes videos do way better than you want and sometimes they do way worse than you want. And like for this one, it still did all right. But I was like, you know what? I really wish more people saw this. So I'm just gonna share it in the chat here. So if you wanna see a Sims 1 documentary e style kind of video, and if you'd like a video like this on The Sims 2, then you should let me know in the comment section of that video. So that way I know people are interested in something like that. And I know it's The Sims and like, you shouldn't take it so seriously, but you know, like I kind of want to do it the, do it the more, I don't know, like prestigious way. I want to be the first Sims filmmaker, darling. Oh God, what's wrong with me? I'm going crazy. I think it's time for me to eat something and maybe go to sleep, my goodness. But thank you so much everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope that you'll enjoy the next stream because we will be playing The Sims 1 in the next stream. So if you wanna brush up on your Sims 1, the documentary is also gonna be good for that. But uh, on Thursday, we're gonna play The Sims 1. I've been promising The Sims 1, we're finally gonna do it and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a blast, I'm sure. I have not opened the game in almost two or three months. That's pretty long for me in The Sims 1. I usually sneak in a quick play session here and there. So I'll be like really excited. I'll be overstimulated. I'll be remembering things that I forgot and we'll be like, oh my God, the Caliente's in The Sims 1. Oh my God, the Goss in The Sims 1. And like, it'll be going a little bit crazy. So if you're not doing anything Thursday, I would love to see you then. And yeah, like, and especially if you haven't played The Sims 1, then it's going to be a wild ride. I also want to do a quick build. It won't take me as long. So we'll definitely have time for that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the stream. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and check to see if you're subscribed so you don't miss the next stream either. Good night, Watani. Good night, Sierra. Good night, Kayo. Good night, Star Stuff. Good night, Sims 3 Girly. Good night, Catch and Witchcraft. We'll see you in the Discord. Good night, Candy Queen. Good night, Blocky. Good night, Jonathan. And good night to everybody who's watching or maybe has fallen asleep to me screaming. But yeah, thank you so much. Love you. Good night. Good night, Dave. Good night, Southern Ladybug. And good night, Twyla. We didn't see you all night, but I'm done. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.